All right, what's good, everybody? Uh, it's your boy, Greg the Dude. Uh, Y'all might know me from gregdills.com and from my other YouTube channel, uh, or from couponing, or from saving money, or anything like that. Well, this is my new channel. Uh, this will be my first food type of video. I've been wanting to make a new channel for a while. So, uh, I cook a lot on live. People always want me to cook stuff. So, I'm going to be cooking stuffed bell peppers for you guys in the air fryer. Well, mixture stove air fryer. All right, this was kind of requested as my first video. So I'm going to try to make it do what it do, y'all. Uh, my first cooking video, so bear with me. Got my little tripod and my ring light and stuff going on. So yeah, so I'm going to show you everything that we need. Uh, before we get started, definitely be sure to show your boy some love by pressing that thumbs up button and liking this video and pressing the share button. Leave me a comment below. And yeah, so uh, let's go make it do what it do, all right? All right, you guys, so to get started, here are the ingredients that you will need. You will need some... It's optional now. You can always add what you want. The great thing about stuffed bell peppers is you can put whatever you want in them. I'm going to start with the ground beef. I'm going to be using the 92% lean, 8% fat Laura's ground beef. This is a really good meat. Um, it doesn't have a lot of grease in it. Um, they sell it at Target. That's where I got it from. Target always has good meat deals. Um, you see it has a $3 coupon on it. So this pack was maybe like 2 bucks for this. I think it's a pound, you guys. Okay, we'll also be using the mild italian sausage i got this free from target you see it has a three dollar coupon on there okay so i'll be using the i'll be using this mild italian sausage now you don't have to use sausage you can use hamburger you can use sausage i like using them both because it just gives it a nice flavor profile when you mix them both together um i'll be using pepper jack cheese i love pepper jack cheese i have to shred this so you guys will see me shred it some diced onions or you can cut your own onions up rice However, if you guys are on keto or low carb, you can do rice cauliflower. So I bought, you know, I showed both. I wanted to show both of those. See, it's only six carbs. All right. Of course, your bell peppers. Can y'all see the bell peppers? Yes. Your bell peppers. My, my favorite when I'm stuffing bell peppers is the red. They taste so good. At pretty much, they all taste good. The green ones are okay, but the colorful ones taste so much better when you stuff them. Okay. Then I'm going to add some black beans in there as well. So, that is what we're going to do. And, of course, you're going to need your air fryer. My air fryer is over here. Um, I have the Power XL Vortex, the 10-quart air fryer, okay? So, that's my air fryer that I'll be using to put my bell peppers in, okay? So, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to rinse off the bell peppers, and I'm going to cut the tops off. Okay, so after we have our bell peppers rinsed, we're going to dry them off. So now that we have our bell peppers cleaned off, we're going to cut the tops off of them. We're going to put our tops to the side, y'all. Uh, don't throw them away because we're going to use... We're going to use them, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to push the middle out and I'm going to use the, the rest. Okay, so if you push out the little stem, you still got all of this bell pepper. Okay, so, so we're going to use those. So I'm going to put that there. Okay. You can just use your hands and you can just, like I said, you can use your hands. I'm going to finish, off. before we get started, I'm going to kind of finish cleaning out my bell peppers. I just use my hand and just peel the little the little sides out. Some people keep it in there, you know, it's all up to you, but it all tastes good for real. So we're gonna peel, we're gonna finish cleaning those out. Right, so the next step what we're gonna do is we are going to put the bell peppers in the air fryer, okay? So I'm gonna take my air fryer out and my racks just pull out, you guys. Let me walk y'all around. Okay. So my racks pull out of my air fryer. So I always spray the rack just so it doesn't stick. So I'm gonna just take some olive oil spray and I'm gonna spray my rack in the sink. So I'm gonna put my rack in the air fryer and then I'm, I'm gonna put the bell peppers in here. Um, and this, like I did, like I mentioned, this is the Power XL. This is a 10 quart. The Power XL Vortex 
air fryer, okay? I got it from Kohl's. I'll put the link in the description for anybody who wants it. I love this air fryer, so I'm gonna just put my bell peppers. So I got my bell peppers in there. I got a total of six of them in there. Probably should have wiped off the refrigerator, huh? <laughs> it's okay, y'all, listen. Uh, so I was able to fit six bell peppers in there, you guys. Okay, and I'm going to put it on 400 degrees for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna start browning our ground beef in our sausage. Okay. All right, y'all. So ten minutes. Okay. So those those will be cooking for ten minutes. All right, squad. So next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting up the tops of the bell peppers. You can dice them by hand if you want to, but I hate cutting vegetables. I'm just going to actually break them apart and throw them in my food processor, y'all, so they can all be blended nicely together. Because this is going to go with the meat, y'all. So I'm just going to throw all of this in here. All right, you guys, so it's diced up nicely. I'm gonna scrape all of this in this bowl. Be, be sure to scrape your tops too, y'all, if you guys are using a food processor. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to grab two skillets. I'm going to grab my cast iron skillet, and I'm going to use this skillet here for our, both of our meats. I'm going to grab some olive oil from out of my cabinet. Now, you can use cooking spray or you can use olive oil. Uh, I'm going to just use some olive oil uh, and pour it in my pan. And, and the reason being is because the ground beef that I'm using, you guys, is, it's a very lean meat so it doesn't have a lot of grease so we don't want it to stick okay so i'm going to take my ground beef and put it in here okay. so i'm going to spray this pan just with olive oil for my uh So after you get your ground beef in the pan, you just want to kind of break it up. All right, you're going to break it up. So now that we have our ground beef in the pan, okay, we're going to put our sausage in the other pan real quick. The pan is good and hot. Okay. Take the little, the little wax paper off, yeah. Okay guys, so next we also have our sausage in the pan. So we're just gonna brown up our sausage, just break it apart. Now I'm back over here to the hamburger meat. So you just wanna season your meat to your liking. I'm gonna add a little seasoned salt. Okay. We're gonna put a little pepper. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of, I'm gonna put a little garlic powder on it. And that's it. Okay, now you can season your meat to your liking. Okay, we're gonna also throw in our bell peppers. Okay, so now here's where our bell peppers come in. So we're gonna also throw in our bell peppers, y'all. Okay, we're gonna throw our bell peppers in there. And then we're gonna throw some onions in it too. Okay. So we're gonna throw some onions in there. I like a lot of onions, okay? And I'm gonna throw some onions in there too. So I'm just gonna add some pepper to the sausage because the sausage is already kind of, you know, it's sausage, so it's gonna be a little salty already. So you don't really have to add any seasoning to that if you, if you want to. The main thing you just wanna season is your ground beef. So after I get this all mixed in really good, I'm gonna throw some more seasoning in here because the seasoning is throughout. So we're gonna throw a little bit more seasoning in there and a little bit more pepper. So I'm gonna brown this meat, y'all, and I'll be back. So while we're waiting, we are going to shred our sheet. Okay. Don't forget about that. I also have my rice in the microwave because I got the bird's eye steam fried rice. So don't forget if you guys are using rice, you need to make the rice on the stove or get the bird's eye steam fried. It's easier that way. It's normally only about 99 cents. So I just shred up my cheese. Or, right, of course, you can buy the kind already shredded. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. 
I like pepper jack. Plus, it just makes this dish taste really good, too. So. And I like to shred my cheese on a paper plate because I am. I like to make cleanup as easy as possible so it's one less dish. Okay. This ought to be enough. I don't know. I might, I might need more. But we're just going to put the cheese to the side. Okay, and we're gonna move on. So your next step, you guys, will be to take your, your bell peppers out of the air fryer, but they're gonna be hot and they're gonna also have water in them. So you wanna pour the water out. Okay, so that way you guys can see the water. I don't know if y'all can see the water or not, but yeah, but they have water in them, so you wanna pour out that water. Put your on a plate. Okay, you guys, so now that we've browned our sausage and our hamburger meat, we're just gonna take the sausage, drain it, and put it in with the, with the hamburger meat, you guys. Or, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to say ground beef, right? So now we're gonna combine our hamburger and our sausage together. Okay, you guys, so now we're combining everything together so everything can cook well. We're going to add our rice. The rice in here. Mix it in really good. add in some black beans but don't put the whole can you don't need a lot maybe like a quarter of a can you just, you just want a little bit in there I just like a little bit so then you guys you want to be sure that you fold it in so so that way you're not smashing your beans because you don't want refried beans okay so we just mixing everything in we're gonna let everything cook the other sorry y'all Sorry, I forgot the fan was on. I told y'all this is my first cooking video. So, just fold everything in real good. I, I like to scrape my sides, incorporate everything real nicely, and we're just going to let this all cook together for a little bit. All right, you guys. So, next, you want to grab a spoon and start stuffing your pepper. So, I'm just going to get this little ladle, y'all, and just stuff your peppers. We stuff these bad boys. Okay, so we're gonna stuff them. Be careful because your air fryer is hot. So I'm gonna clean these up. As you can see, I'll just take my finger and wipe off the excess meat. And I'm just gonna take my tongs and place these back in the air fryer. So now that we have our bell peppers in the air fryer, we're gonna cut it back on 400 degrees. 10 minutes, you guys. Yeah, they can turn on light to check it out. But remember, I'm gonna stop mine at five minutes and put some cheese on it and then put them back in there for five more minutes. All right, guys, so it's been five minutes. So I'm gonna put my cheese on my bell peppers and then I'm gonna put it back in the air fryer for five more minutes. Um, I told y'all I didn't want my cheese to be super hard. So you put as much cheese on there as you want. You might want it really cheesy. First, I'm just going to kind of spread it around. Then I'll come back around again. We can give y'all a close-up. Okay, there we go. Good and cheesy. Now we're going to place this back in the air fryer. All right, so back in the air fryer for five minutes. This is the final the finale i guess so we're done with our stuffed bell peppers i like how the cheese came out this time versus the first time i made them but like i said that's a total that option is totally yours so these are our stuffed bell peppers i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will put uh i will put all the ingredients in the description of this video and i also put the alternative results just in case you guys want to put it in the oven instead 
but yeah so there you have it so if you guys like this video definitely sure to hit that thumbs up button and like this video and leave a comment and please share the video and also hit that subscribe button and i'll talk to you guys later all right peace